there will be. So what's going on guys, it's Mario James, all great by the hour here and today in this video I've come up with a new series, I don't know if it's new but you know everyone on YouTube likes to claim that it's new but it's going to be called Gear Review and as you can see I like to watch some PewDiePie videos so that's why I clapped in the beginning like meme review and the main gist of it is that I'll be reviewing all content, well some of my favourite and some of your favourite content creators gears like let's say for their camera their lenses their computer what they edit on basically anything to create content and what they deliver to us as the consumer so in this video i'm going to be showing off my gear list so it's almost like a um what's in my bag or what's in my camera bag video just without the massive layout i might do that for the thumbnail though but yeah in this video i'm going to be showing you what i use to create these types of videos and what i use to create my instagram videos so without further ado let's get right into this also i think I changed up the background a bit, I was just not liking the desk area so I just put this thing, I'm going to get like a proper background though, had my lights, I might need to get new lights but yeah let's get right into this. So the main piece of gear what I make most of my money out of and my workhorse basically as a camera, I use the Lumix, well Panasonic Lumix G. Five, and this is I think it's a I think it came out in 2012 so it's a pretty old camera it's 16 megapixels it shoots 1080p video which is really good so you're doing this in 1080p if I do um, remember to do in the 1080p option but um, furthermore it also shoots 60 frames per second in 1080p so all the slow motion footage you might see in some of my vlogs some videos what I do in general I like to put 60 frames per second just so it's a backup if I'm doing anything cinematic so the vlog bit will be 25 frames per second as usual and then if I'm walking to a destination but I'm not feeling the energy to talk I will just flip it to 60 frames per second anything I do at least I can slow slow it down so I can use it as a b-roll sequence section now for lenses I'm using the Lumix 25mm ASPH f1.7 lens. Now that sounds like a handful, I was just reading what's on literally what's on the lens right now. But yeah, this lens is, is quite good. I bought it for around £100, so very budget lens for the Micro Four Thirds system. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that the Lumix line, well the Lumix G line, is basically Micro Four Thirds, so you just have to take that into account. Any lens you get, if it says 25 or 12, you have to times that by two because that's the crop factor. So this is a 25 mil. So on full frame on um, 35 millimeter sensor, 50 mil um, equivalent. So yeah, you might think you're getting a wide angle by let's say going for 12 millimeters, you're getting a 24, which is still wide, but not ultra ultra wide. So yeah, I really like this lens. It's f1.7. It's a weird focal range, but I did hear that on Michael Four Thirds as well. If the aperture is let's say f1.2, you have to times that by two as per as per usual. And if it's f1.2, it would be 2.4. So you still get shallow depth of field, but I don't know. This is close to 3.5, so it's practically a kit lens. Don't you ever like discredit this lens i've dropped this off like a flight of stairs and it still held up it's 100 it's 100 made out of plastic but it's a good quality plastic and before i keep on rumbling on let me get to the next point the second lens i use and let me quickly get it, is the kit lens 14 to 42 let me so yeah i use a 14 to 42 kit lens this kit lens is so old just wait for it to focus. Yeah, this kit lens is so old. I think we got this with the Lumix G2 and let me just quickly check how old that is. Okay, so this lens is 10 years old and I have to say, even though it's not a fast lens, it is one of my most versatile lenses. This lens has been through so much, I might retire it soon. But like this has been kicked, this has been dropped, this has been thrown to other people. It's a really, really good lens. It's image stabilized as well. So if I am doing more wider shots and I want to get um, more 
focal range, out of our lenses, I'll use this lens, but I'll only use it in a bright uh, situation. I'll never use it at night time, that's why I might use this. This lens I do use for sometimes for portraits, that's this lens was the first lens I used for like most of my Instagram um, stuff and a couple videos actually. I think it was my, my first three or four videos was filmed, actually all of them are filmed on this video. The only video what I have not used this lens is for this video for example. So this lens is really good, as you can hear shaking I think it's because it's either it's broken it still works fine but it's either that something's loose or it's the image stabilized a bit but yeah don't discredit your kit lens it is one of the most versatile lenses you might have in your kit It'll, it will never let you down and also fun fact all kit lenses are image stabilized so just to keep that credit the third lens i use is the sigma 18 to 35 f 1.8 but because i use it with a metabons uh, speed booster it goes down to f 1.2 so that's super wide open i get all the light i get really good bokeh but yeah this lens i rent it from ycuk and i keep on saying i'm going to make a video about it but i actually am going to make a video with them and it's going to come out uh, later this year it's going to be what i'm going to say is coffee related but yeah let's not talk about that but yeah i um i rent this lens from ycuk and this lens oh my gosh it is such a good lens you see the video when i did the I was talking about this lens. That video was not a good example because it was very, it was out of focus for one, two it was dark, three I did not sleep for around 16 hours so I was exhausted. But yeah, this lens is so sharp, it's one of the sharpest lenses I've used personally, especially on my system. And what else, what else? It's really good in low light situations. I've been using it recently because like, I've been doing more event style photography and low light photography and filming so i'll just go out with it just take it you get that really wide it's not wider 16 but it's wide enough that it's, it's wider than my 14 to 42 the widest it can go is the what is it 24 equivalent so yeah it's not that wide and it goes down to 35 which is almost true 35 in a way but yeah i say if you have a canon or sony i think they came out with it on the sony systems but any major cameras like Canon, Sony, Nikon, if you don't want to buy the stock like Sony, like the um, first party 16-35 lens, I say get the Sigma 18-35 because that lens is just it's so good. Now for my workhorse, and I think I said that for my camera, but I am using the Sigma the 13 inch MacBook Pro. If you keep on seeing me look down, it's because I'm looking at my script on my laptop. But yeah, this I got this laptop on my birthday, so a couple months now. And it is, I didn't upgrade CPU. I don't think there was any need for me to upgrade CPU. Um, upgraded the RAM because I think it was base stock it was 8 uh, gigabytes but I upgraded it to 16 gigabytes because that like, editing in Lightroom and in Final Cut Pro and in Photoshop can be very taxing for the memory. The one thing I do regret is not upgrading the internal, internal storage like I know that most people say don't upgrade the internal storage because you can always get external but I got the 128 gigabyte SSD model, so like all the apps what I have, that takes up like 50% of the um, space and then running up, uh, I think you have to have space on the scratch disk for Photoshop and Lightroom, so that still takes up so much storage. So I think, yeah, I say if I was going to get if I did speak to my younger self again, I'll say upgrade the model. It would, I think it was like another 200 pounds, so just save that up. I got it with the uni days discount. Hopefully one day they could sponsor one of my videos, but yeah, uni days, um, if you're a student, you just sign up and they have so many deals. And I think this, I think it took off like 270 pounds off the final cost and it gave me 20% off Apple Care Plus. So I can kick this, I can drop this. I think I get two free accidental repairs so I can do whatever I want with this laptop. I'm not going to do it because I love it too much.
but yeah, um, anything that happens to it, I can get repaired. And also it comes with the touch bar. Um, I don't know what, how I feel about the touch bar. It's too, it likes to freeze too often and that's a big turn off. But the keyboard's fine. I don't see what's the problem. I do I find that sometimes that crumbs that like, to get into the enter key when I'm tapping it, it doesn't click properly. But hopefully that doesn't happen. This is the 2019 model, by the way. Um, as you can see, we have to take more photos. But yeah, I really like this um, key, um, not keyboard. I really like this laptop. I think my favorite part is the trackpad. It is ginormous. When I'm looking at other laptops, their trackpads are tiny. I say if you are looking for a really good laptop and, you're, and you want to edit on Final Cut Pro, I say get the um, MacBook Pro, but only get it when you see a discount on it. Don't get it normally because Apple does like to overcharge their stuff. And one gripe I do have about this, I know I keep on rambling and it looks like a rant right now, but the fans, whenever I like to edit, the fans just go crazy. The only good thing what I like about it though is the ports. With the ports I can connect it right to my phone and that's just this is a lot faster to charge, especially with the power laptop. This is gonna be a bit of a tricky one, but the tripod what I'm using is a what is it? Let me I don't know how to say it, Samaton? Samaton? Let me try uh, Google Translate this. Okay. Now I'll hear this. Samshin. Samshin. Okay, so I'm using the Samshin CSB1 tripod, and this is a photography tripod. I really like it so far. Like, I'm really, really impressed. It's all it's made out of complete metal except from the clips, but most tripods don't even have metal on the clips. Um, yeah, it's really, really good light the tripod. It's lightweight. It, I think it takes the same ball, ball head mount as the Joby one. So if I do get a Joby tripod I can just switch it over I'm not too sure but it looks very similar and yeah it fits in my bag compared to the last tripods I've used like I've got a 20 pound one from Curry's it doesn't fit my bag I have to carry it in this small little bag and I don't like that one that one has a handle I don't really rate those tripods but this one's really good I'll do a full review maybe in the future but I say if you're if you're not willing to spend money on a man photo tripod or a peak design I think peak is, does peak no, Pete Design does that small tripod where it's like a water bottle. But if you're not willing to pay loads of money on a tripod, I say get this one, it's really good. It's similar to the KNF Concept one, but I don't know, I like this one. And the next thing, what if you do get a MacBook Pro charger, you need 100%, let me get them. You need these, you need like 20 of these because I've already lost, how many have I lost? I think I lost one, don't know where that is. Um, I have another one over there just as a backup. This one, what I use, I don't know. I'll leave some in the description below. But it comes with like a, hopefully this focus. This won't focus, but it comes with a micro SD card slot, SD card slot, HDMI, um, three USB Type 3 ports, I think, and a USB C port. This USB C port, it doesn't seem to transfer any files, but it's good for charging if I'm using all of the ports. Also, if you are gonna get this laptop, try to get four ports because these two ports aren't enough. And because of storage reasons on my laptop, I got a regular computer, Crucial BX SSD. It is 250 gigabytes, so that's pretty good. I'm actually running out of space on this um, SSD because I, I back up all my work on it and it's USB Type-C as well with the external case so I just plug that in. Ultra fast speeds. Um, I am going to upgrade to maybe a 4 terabyte hard drive so at least that SSD would be there. So if I'm if I'm traveling, if I'm like going to a different country, I'm on the go and I need to store some footage. But if I want to edit and because it's a lot faster than using a hard drive, um, I wouldn't have a lot of buffering in Final Cut Pro. But yeah, once once I get the four gigabyte hard drive, dump everything from that one to that, and then just keep it keep that home as like a backup. And also, I do back up some of my stuff, some of my work, most of my like important work on Google Drives, just it's, just so it's in the cloud. If like, let's say I don't have my hard drives, and I'm gonna show someone something, just download it on my phone, bing, boom, bang, and 
that's it but if you guys did like this video please like comment and subscribe for more videos like this and um, if you want to see your kit get featured down um, in the next video what you I'll leave my email an email so you can um, post pictures of your clips and what gear you use and you need to show pictures of what that gear has produced so let's say with my camera my lens and my laptop I'll post five images of my best images don't worry nothing's gonna happen full credit to you and if you do show your pictures and you're not worried you don't have to put a big watermark unless you really need to but yeah your images will be featured in the in this in one of the videos and it's gonna show all your gear it would be good if you did like a flat lay of all your gear so I can see the images and I pick out what gear you have so let's say on one corner you have a 1dx mark 2 if you do you're very lucky if you have on the other corner 16 to 35 f 2.8 the l series lens there you go you're another lucky person just so it's easier for me to like identify and if you get any third party play um equipment so let's say that the i don't even know how to pronounce this tripod but for this tripod for example you just leave it down in a list and yeah it's going to, i think this series is going to be successful i think this is going to be like a flagship for my channel but yeah as you heard i did dismiss the video so hopefully you guys did like this and i'll see you guys in the next video later